Hello, welcome to Rando Tech Info. And today we are talking about the Nubia Red Magic 8 Pro and whether or not it will work on your US carrier's network. The Red Magic lineup has a rich history of providing a great gaming experience for mobile gamers, and their latest offering appears to be no exception. With the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, advanced cooling system, high refresh rate, improved under display selfie camera, and capacitive shoulder triggers, this phone should once again be any serious mobile gamer's dream. And apparently, the phone even takes pretty good photos, at least with the 50 megapixel primary sensor. And you can pick up all of this gaming goodness for $649 USD. And while that certainly isn't cheap, it's pretty reasonable when you compare it to other flagship spec devices. Even better, unlike most other phones coming out of China nowadays, these phones are actually going to be available here in the US. In fact, you can go out to Nubia's website and order one right now. This is actually really important because if for some reason you get the phone over here and it doesn't work, as Nubia's return policy states, you can return the phone within 15 days of delivery for any reason, making purchasing this phone a much safer proposition than bringing a phone over using a third-party seller, which will normally void the warranty. And speaking of returns, if you think you ever might want to return to this channel one day, then you might want to consider giving us a sub. Almost makes sense, doesn't it? So when looking at the Red Magic 8 US carrier compatibility, the bad news is, if you can even call it that, is you won't be getting any millimeter wave 5G. It shouldn't be surprising or concerning considering the reasonable price point of the phone and the fact that all the carrier's millimeter wave 5G footprints are really too small to even matter to most people. As for everything else, let's start with Verizon. Verizon is notorious for not letting unlocked phones on its network, but apparently some folks are having some success getting the Red Magic 8 activated. And if you get the phone activated, the phone has the hardware to utilize four out of seven of Verizon's 5G frequency bands. Now, Verizon has been a bit choosy about what phones they allow to use their faster C-band 5G. So even though the phone has the hardware to do so, whether or not the phone will be able to actually utilize those bands is uncertain. As for 4G, the phone uses four out of five of Verizon's frequency bands, but it's missing its biggest band, which is band 13. So the bottom line is you may be able to pull down some 4G and 5G coverage with Verizon depending on where you live. Although how reliable that coverage is and how fast your data speeds will be is less than certain. AT&T doesn't normally let phones on its 5G network that aren't on its 5G whitelist. And as of right now, the phone does not appear to be on that list. That doesn't necessarily mean the phone won't work at all on AT&T's network, but you may get restricted coverage and speeds. If you are able to get some 5G with AT&T, the hardware story is exactly the same as with Verizon, as the phone's hardware is able to utilize AT&T's Sub-6 and C-band 5G. As for 4G, the phone uses most of AT&T's bands and most of their major bands, so 4G coverage in most regions should be all right. Finally, for the last few months, T-Mobile has been randomly kicking phones off its network that don't utilize its voiceover LTE. I have not been able to find any official confirmation that the Magic 8 can use this feature, so whether or not T-Mobile will activate the phone and allow it to use its network over time is anybody's guess. It is worth mentioning, though, that a lot of viewers in the past have reported they have been able to get the Red Magic 7 Pro to work on T-Mobile's network, so hopefully the same will be true for the 8. That would be amazing. If you do get the phone activated on T-Mobile, its antennas won't get you any sub-6 5G, but you should be able to make use of their mid-band 5G band, Band 41. So if you get T-Mobile mid-band 5G coverage where you live, you might actually get pretty good coverage and data speeds. As for 4G, five of six of T-Mobile's bands are covered, with the only band missing being their long-range band, Band 71. So while folks in more rural areas might struggle with 4G coverage, coverage for most folks should be solid. Well, that's all the information I have for one day. If you do wind up picking up this phone, please feel free to come back and let us know down in the comments where you live and how well the phone is working for you so we can all learn from each other, make more informed buying decisions. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.